Marika Stallark is a language arts teacher at Crosswinds Middle School in Woodbury, Minnesota. And recently she engaged her students in a project where they followed um, the email reports or, or accounts from a friend of hers who was a doctor in California who went to Haiti following the recent earthquake. As a culminating experience for this, after her friend returned back to her home in California, um, they, she called her in as a guest speaker uh, using, a, using a tool called Skype, um, which allows for um, video conferencing. Learning about the Haiti earthquake and trying to figure out a way to connect the kids with that, um, just kind of get a, a real sense of what was going on. I have a friend that was down in Haiti for one month as a doctor who was giving aid, and so um, I really wanted her to be a part of the day. Well, the problem is obvious. The distance from Minnesota to California is a little over uh, 2,000 miles. She could fly here, but the cost for that would have been over $400 round trip, and um, it would take her probably a whole two days out of her time. So we set up a large projector screen and an LCD projector, and um, luckily we were able to get a camera and microphone connection and, and connect with her and the students knew a little bit about what she had done before they um, heard the presentation and she just talked for about five minutes um, and then took questions from the audience that she, she was able to see the kids sitting in the performance area and the kids were able to see her respond to her questions so it was like a, a, a real live conversation with the stage almost um, and the kids were fascinated by it, they loved it, and it was a really great way to bring in a guest speaker without having to worry about travel costs or bringing in um, anyone from the outside, so it was really great. Um, she was able to do it for a better one. Skype is free to download and use as long as you're um, making calls from um, Skype user to Skype user, and that goes for anywhere in the world. So if you had, let's say, someone in Australia, and you were in in uh, California or, or or North Dakota or wherever, um, <coughs> you could connect and talk and, and have a video conference um, online for free. You can also, with Skype, call call telephones, um, regular landlines or cell phones or whatever whatever kind of phone number you have, um, for a very small fee. I think I paid uh, just just a um, a little over thirty dollars for a full year subscription with um, unlimited minutes. Um, last year when I when I uh, had had a paid account, um, and so you get you can have basically free long distance to almost almost anywhere in the world. Um, so what what you would need to do if you wanted to, if you wanted Skype would be to go to Skype.com and download Skype. When you download it, um, you you get a little program that will allow you to connect. You also need to sign up for an account. So when you when you uh, open up your Skype um, program, it will um, it will ask you to go through a sign up process. And once once you filled out your ge general information like um, your, your name, your email address, your ad you know, your home address, that kind of stuff, um, you'll get access to your account, which will look like this. And the way you navigate Skype is on the uh, on the left here, you'll have your own little picture icon, which you can upload. Um, I use this little painting of myself with a fish. Um, you can add contacts to, to your list here. So these are all these are all people that I contact, and you can tell if the, these uh, these people are online because they'll have a little green check mark next to them. If it's a regular phone number, it'll show up with a little telephone, and if it's if the the person's not at their computer or they don't have Skype open on their computer, you'll see the little gray X next to them. And so you can, you can do this in a, a few ways. You can go to the directory, and you can find people either by their full name or their Skype name or their email address. Um, just the other day, I needed to uh, have a, um, a conversation from our middle school in Woodbury to um, our district office in Maplewood. And... Uh, I didn't. I didn't know uh, um, 
the, I didn't know the Skype address that I needed, but I knew the person's email address, so I just put the email address in here, and it, it, it located them for me. Um, so th there's a, a few ways you can find people, and then all you'd need to do to call them, if you wanted to call a telephone, you could type in the number here, just like a regular phone. If you, need, if you wanted to call somebody, you would just um, call them like this, and it will dial. Uh, if if you both have a, a webcam um, hooked up to your computer, you'll get another little green box or little green circle over here that says uh, video call, and so you can make you can make a video call with people. And by no means is Skype the only tool out there that you can use this. You can use for video conferencing, or to bring in guest speakers into your classroom, or uh, just for everyday communications. Uh, another another useful tool is uh, Ubeek. Um, and in this tool, you don't, it's actually not, doesn't support audio, I believe, but uh, if, if uh, you and the person you want to conference with both have webcams, you can see each other and type in the text box in the middle here. Uh, the nice thing about Ubeek is there's no, no need for any downloads. Uh, if, if you have, if you, if you open this up, it will uh, generate a a unique URL that you can copy in, in an email or message to send to the person that you're going to have a conference with. Um, you know, the, the use, useful part of this is that you might, you know, you may not need the audio, you may need the video, um, where you may be showing each other things and you can just type. Um, but this is, all, this is really great also on um, classroom machines that maybe uh, you don't have administrative privileges to down download and install stuff on. Um, Weboku is another one, or, or sorry, uh, Wetoku, I think is how you pronounce this. Uh, I, I, I have not used this, so I, I cannot really uh, um, attest to its usefulness, but um, I, I do know this is available for a, a very similar feature. You can also, with this tool, you can uh, you can share what you're you're meeting um, with, um, on a blog or wiki or web website with an embed code. Um, so this would be more for for meetings that are going to be more public. Uh, if you want if you want a, a session where you have multiple people logged in and um, ha can interact in an environment um, and to view, if you want to share PowerPoints or PDF files or documents of any kind. Uh, Dim Dim is a good option. Um, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of uses for these tools in your classroom, and I, I know you can probably imagine, um, you know, people you can bring in, um, whether they're authors that, that your kids are, are reading, or artists they're studying, or um, historical figures <laughs> that uh, are still living, um, or experts in any given field. Um, these new tools online for video conferencing really open up the classroom for global connection that we've never seen before. What, what did you feel was the overall um, reaction from the kids to this experience? I think they liked it a lot. It was the end of the day, um, which I was really nervous because it was a squirrely day and the kids were anxious to, uh, to you know, get out of there and they weren't really sure what was going on. But once it was hooked up and the technology was in place, they were um, overall very respectful they understood that she could see them and hear them, and uh, they thought that was pretty cool. That you know, if they shouted out, they could she would respond to them yelling. And um, so overall, I think the technology really made it something that uh, that connected them more than having just a guest speaker. Um, they actually kind of I think enjoyed it a little bit more than having somebody coming in and talking to them because they were like, "This is cool." <laughs> um, and so I think overall the kids really enjoyed it. Um, the fact that they had to write down their questions and ask, um, you know, really pertinent questions helped. Um, and so I think overall it was it was a success.